how to make a car like this in Roblox Studio. Now, these cars look really nice, I model them myself. Um, I mean, they're not too bad. So, I will, of course, make these a model and put it in the description. Also, if you guys want, it's not just random, um, so for a fighting game, you can, um, I have a model for that, like some kits that you can use, like if you're making like a Bedwars game, like a different type of Bedwars game. I know they're down here somewhere. Let me just find it. These are my creations. So here are my creations. So this is um, ready for sale. This is off sale for some reason. Um, edit asset. Sword and armor for your game. And you have the audio, and your model will not be playable. Allow comments. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. Put it on sale. Configure. Convert. Wait, why? How do I put it on sale? Distribute on marketplace. To maintain community safety. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna turn that on and then save. I think I think that'll make it. Go to details. This item is available in your inventory. Um, I'm pretty sure it is. It's not for sale, it says. No, 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 it is, it, it is for sale now. Alright, so there's the armor and sword pack. Cancel your save that. Okay, then close that. Alright, um, here's the armor and sword pack just for you guys. Um, here, you got the armor stand, the gold armor, the underarm blade, this guy with those cool blades, this blade, um, this guy, and this guy, so you've got all of these. Alright, so, and then you can get the rocket tail, and then you can get the rocket tail in the truck. So, that's the model there. Alright, so, this is how you make one of them. You just want to grab, like, a lot of parts. Like, look at how many parts there is in the rocket tail. Like, a lot. So, um, if you want to remodel this, yeah, you can. Um, of course, it's pretty easy. So, let me show you how to make a car like this. So, first, get yourself some weird wheels. So let me just go ahead and copy these wheels. Um. Oh, the rocket tail is the one that has all the wheels. Alright, so I guess I'll just copy the 
needles from the rocket tail. There. So next, you're going to move the four wheels that you just got um, into workspace. So you get like this, and you can move them to get there and make it however you want. So I'm going to use the. I'm going to make a bigger in the back because I'm going to make a um, monster truck. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete those and duplicate these to the front. Like that, guys. And then after you do that, you can go ahead and add in a part. And this will be the base. So you want to go ahead like that. Like that. And then you want to get it like that. So then, let's say, like you are making a monster truck. Like, you can add some springs to it. So let me show you how to do that. So, um, but it, it, it's kind of a different way. Um, I don't know how to actually add, like, fake springs. These are just the real springs. So make the monster truck as high as you want. So you, you just want the base here, and then you want to do that, and that, make it a little bit skinnier, and put it up higher. Also, I'm really sick of the, um, cash shadow. Okay. Um, then you can paint it, of course. So, for this example, I'm just going to make mine white. Alright, so next, you're going to go into um, model, and you're going to go to this, click on the arrow, and go to the spring. Now, you want to click on the wheel, like that, and then get it up to the edge of there. So there's a spring there, right? So next you want to do that for all the wheels. So once you've done that, you will have some springs here and they will look pretty good. So you can of course change the color. I want my springs to be um, white, so you can select every spring, every spring constraint, and change the color to whatever you want. Like that. So, now you guys need to make the body, but first let's test this out. So if you go on top of the thing, I'm pretty sure if I jump on it, no, um, oh yeah, it's because this is all anchored. So if we unanchor all of this, anchored now, because they're attached, so they should, see, it just goes straight down. So the only thing you really need to unanchor if you want it to be like a little bit bouncy is this. Um, so next, the spring constraints. The thickness. The thickness. If you want to change that. is not going to be infinite. The max force is like, I don't know, 200. So, it only goes up to 200 force. So, if we come on it, 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 just, it just completely falls down. Which, um, I'm not sure why it does that. But, you, you're going to want this anchored. So, next up, 
let's go ahead and start on the body. So, like, these other cars, they have, like, a nice detailed body. I made these cars a long time ago, so they have a lot of problems on them. But, other than that, they look pretty nice. So, next, what you're going to do is make the back, or, I mean, the top of your thing. So, you see how I copied that part and it has all of these connected to it? You don't want to copy the part. Because when you do, if you do that and then you bring it up, these springs will come up too. Like, watch this. Um, I don't know what I just pressed, but okay. Oh, I, I pressed that, okay. Um, if you put it anchored, on anchored, and you play here and you launch it, it just goes completely down and it's super bouncy. And you don't want that. So what you want to do is you want to just keep undoing it until you don't have that part anymore. And then you will have just this part right here. So move that part back. So you're gonna want to align the align this pretty perfect. So it looks better. Okay, now the color, change it to whatever. And I also put the model of this monster shock in the description. So then you can add the back or the front, whichever one you want first. I just recommend doing the top first because then you have, like, how high you want it to be. Yeah. So next you're just going to want to, like, design your um, thing. So as you can see, guys, this thing is very skinny. So you're gonna, if you don't want it so skinny, scale the bottom a little bit more. And then you gotta move all of this back. You gotta move it like that. Like that. And then you can scale the roof back. So, pretty much guys, that's how you make a pretty nice model car, but it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. I don't know how to make a car yet, but I will learn, and I'll show you guys how to make one. But before you go guys, um, I will, like before you go, I'm going to show you how to make some nice details in it. So, basically, like these other ones, I have a lot of details. Um, and it makes it look a lot better. So, if you guys want, it, want your car to look really good, you definitely want some details in it. So, I'm going to make the, my car green. Actually, let's do blue, and then, so all of it should be blue, and then, I feel like that's, um, not really a good blue. Well, anyways guys, I'll see you when I'm completely done with this thing. Just, just after I pick my color, but it's just, this blue is too dark. I can do I could do cyan. No, 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 cyan's too light. 
I can do pasta with. So guys, I'll see you when I'm done. So guys, I just finished making the new monster truck. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, it, the title is the monster. It's got a decal. I've got some red handles. It's got some horns. You know, all of that stuff. And it looks really good to me. Um, so, basically, how do you make something like this? Basically, what I did is I just went, I searched like dead balloons. I grabbed these. Um, and I spilled them to look like that. And then I just grabbed, like, images, and there's like, maps, face, and then I saw this, so I was like, yeah, I'll use that, and then to get the text, um, I used 3D text, and, um, pretty much just for the rest of the detail is just me, like, that was just my building, so I was just building that, so, Pretty much here is the final product. It looks good. Um, so I can um wait whoops. Okay, there. Um I need to make the material different because I want it to be metal, that's what I want, but this will stay, this will be like 0.4 and this will be glass, so here's, here, here's what it looks like, so I'm going to go ahead and put this model in the description, right here, you can get it, I'll put it and then guys I will another for another marble mar model I will um, make a um, I might make it like for another model I might make it all of this so pretty much there we go there you go um now if I the the rocket tail is for sale also so I'll put these links in the description and you can get that. So, before you go, I will also show you how to make your own model just because I'm about to do it. Because I need to make this type of model. So, you're going to select all the parts and all of the things that you want your, for your model to be. You can either group it or put it in a folder. Um, I like grouping and putting a folder. Um, if, if, it's, if it has to do with some scripts or something like that, I would put it in the folder and say what, what to ungroup it in. So I'm just going to name this the, the, the monster. So now that you have the model, you're going to click on it, you're going to save to Roblox, and the status equal, that uh, needs to be on sale. Um, so before I try that, let me just check if this is on sale. Um, these two. Save to Roblox. 
Our status is off sale. Um, oh wait, no, it's like, I don't, I don't know, it's, it's called the Rocketeer, I'm pretty sure it's on sale. What if I delete it from my inventory? Is it on sale? Yes, let's, and then it reloads. Yes, okay, the Rocketeer's on sale. So, there we go. Let me go, okay, so now, let's go ahead and select this, this. oh wait, let me put the devil horns in there too. So you're going to save to Roblox, put in the description for a quantity of it. So now this thing is for sale. Alright, so you guys can take this mod. Alright, so the next model that I needed to get is the other one. So that's how you model it. So pretty much you have to put it on sale, um, which you have to allow. Um, you have to oh, distribute on Marketplace, which puts it for sale. So, I'm not sure if you can make it um, cost Robux. I don't think you can because, yeah, I don't, yeah, you can, I don't think. So, that's how you make a model and a nice monster truck or a nice car or whatever so just get some decals um some meshes and start building so i hope y'all enjoyed don't forget to like and subscribe hit the bell so you never miss the video and yeah that's gonna be it for today bye